What's up guys? It's Tuesday, March 9th, 2024. We're at the Bitcoin block height of 838,465. TikTok next block. I'm outside of my local gym, the Las Vegas Athletic Club. I actually absolutely love this gym, man. I really, really like it, man. Um, I like it so much, I don't go that often. <laughs> I need to go a little bit more. That way I can uh, make these videos in the morning real quick and then do what I got to do during the day. But uh, guys, I had a I had a revelation this morning or an epi epiphany hit me. And before I tell you real quick, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my background. For those of you that don't know, m most of you do. But let me just tell you something real quick. Uh, I am a finance guy, right? I went to school for finance. OK, that's my that's my major. My major was literally finance. The reason why I did it, because I got that from Robert Kiyosaki. I went to school late, um, but I always was interested in money and I always looked at the markets and everything else. But I remember Robert Kiyosaki, I think he said it in a book or a talk. He said, if you want to be rich, you need to study money, period. He says, you know, doctors study medicine and the body. He said cooks study food and how to cook and everything else. Lawyers study law. If you want to be rich, study money, study finance. So with that, I was like, wow. So I went to college literally for finance, not knowing it was a scam uh, in the traditional finance situation. So every single day for years, guys, for years, and I'm sure you guys are, you guys did this too. You don't have to be a finance guy to do this. I looked at the markets all day, every day. I looked at the stocks. I looked at real estate. I looked at all that stuff, man. You know what I mean? And I like religiously looked at that stuff. Then when I got into precious metals, um, I started to find myself getting away from it slowly but surely, but I still was looking at the markets, right? Uh, at about a 90% clip versus what I was doing before I got into precious metals. I had a I had an epiphany this morning, a realiza realization this morning. I was watching a Bitcoin video because I have a computer just for Bitcoin, right? And on that computer, my I'm, I don't have my regular YouTube up because my, my YouTube I have here is uh, premium and I never get ads, right? So after a video is off, uh, I don't have it set to, uh, you know, play another video, just wait for me to click on it. But on my other uh, Bitcoin computer, I have YouTube up there and I watched the video and after the video was up, another one popped up. And it was about the markets. It was just a regular traditional stuff, nothing about Bitcoin or nothing like that. And this is stuff, guys, that I used to, I used to love this stuff. I used to watch it constantly, all day long. Guys, that video popped up and I was looking at it and I had no interest at all in it. And I didn't even realize I was that way now. It's because of Bitcoin. Uh, when you're when you're in Bitcoin and you really understand how the financial system works, and again, I started doing it when I was in uh, precious metals, but I still was looking at the market. When you're in Bitcoin, you understand that this is a completely different system. Even gold and silver, as good as it is, it's not a completely system different system. It's still based on a lot of the fundamentals because everything was based on gold and silver at first, but it's fundamentally based on what's going on with the fiat currency and everything else because everything was backed by uh, gold and silver with smaller purchases but with bitcoin bitcoin is a completely different system and it takes a long time to get there i've been into bitcoin for over three years and a little bit over three years and i wasn't studying it hard when i first got into it like i am now and like i've done the last couple of years but the first five six months or whatever it was i was watching it and looking at it but i really wasn't really really studying it i studied a couple months before i got into to it too but uh, that realization today I had, I was like, wow, I am not playing these fiat games anymore. Now, am I in the fiat system? Of course, I still got to buy things with uh, cut bucks and everything else, but I am not, <laughs> I am not dealing with that stuff at all. I am just in, in a complete different mindset. I used to have a quote unquote diverse portfolio. I had it all. I had, <clears throat> I had REITs, R-E-I-T's. I had real estate. I had the S&P 500, which I used to be obsessed with. I used to be obsessed with the S&P 500. I used to look at that thing and see what companies were number one and number 10. I look at all their financials and, you know, what, what are they going to do and what's the growth. And I used to look at all that stuff, man. 
And I remember, <laughs> I remember seeing Bitcoin on the ticker thing. And I just was like, you know, what is this thing? <laughs> Guys, we are so early. The opportunity of Bitcoin comes from people that don't know what it is. Guys, 99.5% of people, probably more, don't know what Bitcoin is. I mean, don't. I mean, they know what it is, but they don't put their savings in it. There's only a few million. I don't, I don't know. I, I've heard different numbers. Uh, a very, very small percentage, probably less than half percent, a, a half a percent of people do what we're doing, meaning saving, putting their savings into Bitcoin. But I am a 13 percenter, right? And what a 13 percenter is, people that buy Bitcoin or buy cryptocurrencies and have a basket of them, uh, they have, you know, Bitcoin probably number one. Then I have some Ethereum, they have some Solana, they have some other stuff. But only 13% of the people that have cryptocurrencies are Bitcoin maxis, right? So a lot of the small, small percentage of the planet that have Bitcoin and cryptos, 13% of those people have Bitcoin only and they're maximalists. And that's why I am. Let me know what you guys are in the comment section. Guys, my complete and total savings account now is Bitcoin for the long term. Now, let, that's a lie. I do have a little cash outside the, the banking system. I do. <laughs> I do mean a little, a, a, a little just for emergencies. And if the power goes down or if I need something real, real quick, because I'm not selling my Satoshi, I'm not selling a set. And I don't keep a significant uh, amount of quote unquote money in the bank. So I do have some cash in different denominations and stuff like that outside the banking system. But other than that, other than that, I am not diversified. Now, again, I'm not telling you to be like me or not be diversified because I, I had somebody tell me in the comment section, oh, you know, I have to be uh, diversified. I don't feel comfortable. I was the same way. And I'm not telling you, you won't be later or something like that. But once I understood that the fiat currency system and the, and the game that I learned and lived off for for years is rigged and a bunch of people, people, not a, not a network, rulers that rule over us are a bunch of scammers, liars, and they're evil. Once I really found that out and they don't have our best interest and I learned really what inflation was and everything else, I opted out of that system, man. I save in nothing but Bitcoin. Why would I save in anything else once I figured out what it is, right? Am I going to diversify in real estate? Am I going to diversify in stuff? Why? When I know that we're going to go to a new system and everything else is a far, far third because there is no second best. So that's just me. That That's the epiphany I had. I knew that I you know, wasn't playing those games, but when that video came up and th these are videos or these kind of videos are videos I used to watch consistently all day long i had no interest at all that's when i knew um i'm really really close to being on a bitcoin standard and i am on a bitcoin standard in my mind body and spirit i really am and i know what it's going to be in the future and um wow i just had to share that with you guys so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and again guys i'm gonna sound like a broken record you work your ass off for your money okay you work your tail's off for it. You got to save your energy somehow, right? Again, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling anybody what to do. But you have some choices to put it in. You tell me what you want to put it in. You know, you can put it in anything you want. And again, um, there is no second best, man. There is no second best. And I am so fortunate and blessed uh, to know the things that I know now and I had an open mind. I wish I could have got in early like we all did, but hey, if you don't know what I'm talking about, <clears throat> getting in early, I'm talking about the best way to save. And for me, the only way to save. And that's Bitcoin. I love each and every one of you and I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love, guys.